Hello and welcome. It's the chats, and I am Manny. My guest on the program is simply amazing. Wait for it. Ego Ogbaro, a former member of the Africano music band, is a Nigerian singer and was born in Edo State to an Igbo father and Edo mother. She attended primary and secondary school in Lagos and graduated from secondary school in 1991. Ego dropped out of the university in her third year where she was studying public administration to chase after her musical career. She joined Lagbaja in 1994 and worked for close to 12 years with the Lagbaja band. She graced the audience with a sonorous voice and hit songs like Konko Below, Nothing For You and Never Far Away. While with Lagwaja, she went on several world tours and for her outstanding musical accomplishments, she received the Best Female Vocalist Hip Hop World Awards in 2006. Sadly, in 2007, her musical relationship with Lagwaja came to an end and fans were left in shock with many questions unanswered. She started her solo career and released her first single titled I Believe in 2007 and also formed the Indigo Band. Since leaving Lagbaja's band, she has collaborated with a number of artists. Ego also performed at the World Music Day concert organized by the French Cultural Center, the Collaboration Concert in October 2010 and 2017, and the Bayelsa International Jazz Festival 2013 alongside the late Hugh Masakela and Femi Kuti. Ego released her debut album, First Steps, in 2013 and is currently working on her second album. She is married to Ni Ogbaro, who is also her manager. <laughs> I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've seen quite a number of people do this song, but no one has ever done it like you. Oh. <laughs> it's very difficult to separate your name from Lagbaja. How does that make you feel? Um, at first, I was a bit, especially when I wanted to go solo, I was, I wanted to separate myself. Like everybody's, oh, Lagbaja singer or dancer or, you know. Um, and because I wanted, my songs were quite different from you know his songs i just wanted to differentiate my sound from his and so um but later i realized why i mean i, I worked for it i worked for that name even if it was ego like by just something like by just singer I, I i worked very hard for for years 12 years mm. um and so I decided that okay, you know what, I would I would turn it into a <laughs> I mean it was it wasn't a negative anyway, but I, you know I would use it to my advantage. Like yes, you know, and um, so now I, I I've got to the place where I don't really mind. Take, take take us back to the early days before Lagbaja, when you were just you know a young girl growing up, and um, probably singing in a bathroom and the rest of it. You know, <laughs> what was it like? Huh. I, I, well, not in the bathroom. I was always in front of a mirror. <laughs> okay. Always. That's what most of us do. Either sing in the bathroom. Oh, yes. Mirror, in, front you know, in front of a mirror. Or you were looking at yourself and singing. Yes. And Why? singing and acting out scenes. I'd seen earlier in the day, I would take my mom's old, very old wig and <laughs> comb it. I, for weeks, I combed really? this thing out. And I wore, I remember I wore, Who then was you Aaron, pretending I, to be I, I like think Tina one of the girls Turner? in ABBA or something. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Blonde girl. Right. And I tied something, like a hippie, you know, and I tied something in my head. And we had this huge screwdriver, and that was my microphone. And I was always doing that for hours. I would just get lost for hours. And, you know, that was, that for me was my, my playtime. But now, you, now, now you have, okay, singing came first. Yes, singing. How did it, how did it happen? Um, it was, I think, after I finished secondary school, you know, that place where you're not sure 
of what you want to do or be and where you want to be everything you could possibly be um so you just weren't sure there was no direction per se there's a story about you quitting higher education yes um what was it about um number one the reason i did that was before i even got into university i i wanted to go for a particular course and because i didn't get that course i just kept trying and trying and trying i wanted it was french um, oh, you wanted to study French? Oh, yes. I love French. I still do. Um, but for some reason, and because I was working, um, for some reason it wasn't at the point, I, I went for ling- language and linguistics thinking, okay, I would change to French. You know, the second year, they gave me Igbo. I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, I rejected some, you know, schools. And eventually, I said, okay, you know what, just because, okay, once I didn't go to school kind of thing, I went into for public um admin wasn't you know my my third year i just said you know what and then we were traveling at that point music was more important to me i'm not even going to work in an office anyways so it's true so i'm not gonna from secondary school i knew that no nine to five i understand you have a sister who sings as well yes yes what's her name her name is uzo or tonia anthony and the people think that she sang better than you excuse me (laughs) um I, I wouldn't put it like that. Um, She's your so, older sister? Yes, she is. She is. And she looks younger. Mm. Mm-hmm. She can't have it all. I sing better. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Next question. <laughs> is she taking, <laughs> a career in, to... in taking a career in singing as well? Hmm. I think for her, the way I look at it, I can't really speak for her, but the way I see it, I think she just enjoys it. You know, she's not thinking about... Oh, I want to record an album. She's she's a performer. She lives it at every moment. Mm. Yeah, but I don't think long term, you know, she's thinking of you know um, producing an album or I mean recording an album. Um, I don't know. Who knows? I, 